If you want to learn how to do slow motion on CapCut, then this video will show you how step by step. So let's use this video as an example. So to do slow motion on CapCut, there are two ways to do it. So I'll show you the first way, which is the easy way. So make sure you click on the video. If you look to the right side, there's video, there's audio, and then there's speed. So click on speed, and then you can see that over here, you can adjust the speed. If you drag it to the right, you make the video go faster. So this is how you speed up the video. But if we want to do slow motion, then we want to drag it to the left. So here you can see by default, it is one times speed, right? If you want to slow it down, we bring it to the left. So if we continue playing the video, you will see that he is now running in slow motion and of course you can slow it down as much as you want you can even bring it down to like 0.1 and then if i play the video you'll see that it's in very very slow motion another way you can adjust the speed of the video is you can change the duration so let me just bring it back to the original speed so originally this video clip you can see it is 7.5 seconds right so it's going to be 7.5 seconds for this guy to run jump and continue running so if we want to slow down the video, we can also increase the duration. So we can just click on this to increase the duration, or I can just change it. So let's say I want to drag the video to 20 seconds long. I can just type 20, and now you can see that the video clip will be dragged out to 20 seconds long. But what if you only want to slow down one part of the video? You see, with this method, the entire clip the whole video will be slowed down. So in this video example, you can see he's running slowly all the way and then he finally jumps, right? So what if you only want to slow down the part where he jumps? Then you will need to use this feature called speed ramping. Okay, so here's how to do it on CapCut. Now first, let's bring this back to the normal speed and bring it back to one times. Now if you look under speed, there is normal which is what we were using. This is the easy way to adjust the speed of a video. But if you want to have more control, you're going to click on Curve. Okay, under Curve, you can click on Customize. And then if you just scroll down, if you go down, then you will see a graph. This is actually how you can edit the speed ramp for the video clip. This is how you can have more control over the speed of the video. So let's say, for example, in this video clip, if I only want to slow down when he's jumping, then all I have to do is I just drag this timeline, right? I just move it until the part that I want to slow down, which is at this moment. This is where he jumps, right? So I just move back until he starts to jump. So I want to add a point. Okay, I'll click on a plus over here. I'll add a point in the graph plus like this. And then I'll just move forward a little bit. I can add one more point in the graph like this. And the whole reason I'm adding these points is so that I can create a curve to curve down like this. So when you have this speed ramp curve, if you curve down, you will slow down the video. So meaning from here, the video will slow down. And I want to control it such that the moment he touches the ground, the speed goes back to normal. So remember, when the curve goes down, the video will slow down. So I will just play the video first so you can see the difference. So I'll play it and see it's just running normally. And then when he jumps, the video slows down for a little bit. So you want to edit it properly so that the entire time he is jumping, the video is slowed down. So we can move over to the point where he lands on the ground. Okay, this is the moment where we want to bring the video back to normal speed. So over here, we can just drag the curve and we can drag it out to maybe this point where he lands. Okay, so we can adjust the curve again, like this, can bring it down. So here you can see the moment he jumps, this is when the curve goes down. And when he lands, that's when the curve goes back to normal. So when it's going in a flat line like this, when it's going flat, that means the video will play at a normal speed. And when it curves down, you can see it's in slow motion and it goes back to normal speed. So by using this method, you can specify exactly when you want to do slow motion for your videos.